Hi everyone, this is Dean P. Johnny from Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. In this section, I am going to discuss a topic from Module 5 of Subject Programming in C for S2 students of KT. Today, we will be discussing about Array of Pointers, which is an important concept in C programming. Before moving on to the topic, you should be thorough with the concept of array as well as pointers. As you all know, array is actually a set of variables holding same type of values and pointers are variables which will point to a location in memory. That means pointer variables hold the address instead of data. So, array of pointers is an indexed set of variables in which the variables are pointers. It allows you to numerically index a large set of variables. So, an array of pointer is an array whose elements are pointers. So, to declare an array of pointer, the syntax used is, first, you have to define the data type, then star array name, and in bracket, you have to give the size of that array. Now, let's look at an example. Here, I have declared one integer type array of pointer ARR with size 5. So, ARR can hold multiple number of locations which will be holding integer type data. That means it can hold address of 5 integer variables. Okay. Now, the program using RF pointer will be looked like this. First, I am declaring one integer type array of pointer with size 3 and I am defining three variables A, B, C with its values. Now, the array of pointer will be holding the address of variables. So, first I am giving the address of A to the array and I am giving the next address to the array and the next as follows. Then, to get the address, you can just use the name of that array and to get the value from that address, you can use a star symbol. So, star ARR of i will give the corresponding value inside that location. And if you are using just ARR of i, you will get the address corresponding element in that array. The output will look like this. If you want the address, you can use the array name with its index value and if you get want to get the value from the address stored you have to use a star symbol in front of that array name now we will see how it is working in the first step i have declared one array of pointer ARR with size 3 and I have declared three variables A, B, C with values 10, 20 and 50. And in the next step, I have assigned the address of A to array of 0 and address of B to that of array of 1 and the address of C is assigned to array of 2. Since it is a pointer array, it can save the address of memory location where the value will be stored. So, now our array of pointer is having those address values. Then, now, if you want to access the value inside that address, you have to use a star symbol. Otherwise, if you are just display array of 0 it will return the value as an address the value will be an address so arr of i 
that is without use giving a star symbol it gives the address of ith element so here of 0 returns the address of variable a and a r r of 1 that is first element will be the address of b and so on so if you want to access the value at that address you have to specify with a star symbol because it's a pointer array so we are accessing value from the pointer using a star symbol so you have to use that symbol here pointer to string is an array of character pointers where each pointer points to the first character of the string or the base address of the string because the string itself is a one dimensional array so uh, while we making an array of pointers with these type of strings the only thing you have to consider is that these pointer array the array of pointer will be holding the address of the first character of the string so now I'll see with one example here have declared one array of pointer sports as a character array and inside that I am get giving five strings the zeroth element that is the sports of zero points to the base address of the string golf the base address in the sense the first character that is g where the g is stored that address location will be stored inside the zeroth element similarly the first element that is ports of one will be point to the first characters location that is the location where h is residing that will be stored inside sports of fun and so on so this is how the figure depicts how the memory is organized in the case of strings so you can see that inside the sports array we are saving only the initial or the base address of the character which is the starting character here is the example showing the array of pointer to strings here i have declared one array of pointer with five strings and in the case of integer uh, array of string we were using um, array name for getting its address value and uh, a star symbol we are using to access the data from them but in the case of string you cannot use that format instead of that we are accessing both string as well as address using the corresponding format specifier if you want to get that full string you have to use the percentage s format specifier and if you want to get the address of that particular string that means the starting address of that string you have to use the format specifier percentage d and the output of our program will look like this uh, when we use percentage s abbreviation you will get the uh, string value and if you are using percentage t then you will get the address of that particular string we have discussed about array of pointers and these were the references thank you all